was a player. God damn it, what I tell y'all. Uh, watch the 283609 and all got damn turns in case one of your ops slide up. Things can um might work out in your favor. God damn it, when it ain't your ops, well, hell, these might be your ops too. When the police slide up on your ass and try to barricade your ass in or block you in from making the move and you ain't bullshitting, it, damn it, you ain't going. As the young folks say, I ain't going. Bitch, it is what it is. Bitch, gotta take me in dead or alive. Shout out to Nashville. Bitch, let me put it up on the screen. Look, 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 look. We coverage now of the deadly, deadly shootout, shootout that, that left, left one, one man dead, dead and an ATF, ATF agent fighting for his life. life. It's, it's now, now been more than 24 hours since gunfire, gunfire erupted in, in a parking lot off of Murfreesboro Pike, Pike and, and the crime scene there, there is still, still active. active. Felon Corey Wellman was, was target of a drug enforcement operation. The bullet started flying around 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. ATF still has not identified the agent who remains at Vanderbilt. The agency did tell us he underwent a medical procedure last night. And, and News 2 has obtained surveillance video showing the high drama of that firefight that unfolded at very close quarters. News 2 Danny Quinn gives you a closer look at the intensity of the gun battle and how quick action by a fellow agent may have helped save a life. We parked, we parked these two vehicles bumper to bumper to give you an idea just how close this gun battle was. You had the agents in the van. You had Corey Wellman, the suspect, in his black SUV. From, From the driver's driver seat to the driver's seat, seat, it can't, can't be, be but 10 feet, feet as bullets are ripping back and forth. The surveillance footage begins around 2.15 Tuesday afternoon. It's business as usual behind the country cafe. Suddenly, a silver van filled with ATF agents approaches Corey Wellman's black SUV, watches the silver van, bumps the black SUV. Almost simultaneously, the first shot is fired from inside Wellman's vehicle. In, in this moment, moment, one of the agents opens the sliding van door. It appears he wants to get out, but there are so many bullets flying that he's forced to remain in the van for more than 10 seconds. What unfolds over the next half a minute is a hail of gunfire that witnesses estimate could be 30 to 40 shots. A woman in the passenger seat of the SUV runs for cover as bullets continue to hit the windshields of both vehicles. Wellman's door also flies open. We've, We've learned, learned portions of this wider angle to not reveal the agents' identities, given the possibility that some of them may work undercover. Agents armed with rifles and pistols eventually take down Corey Wellman, approaching carefully after the gunfire subsides. By now, the wounded ATF agent is behind the van. Other officers, approximately a dozen, quickly converge on the scene from multiple directions. Three fast-thinking agents waste no time, coming to their fallen comrade's aid. They quickly carry him to an SUV, turning it into a makeshift ambulance, rushing the wounded officer to Vanderbilt University Medical Center. All of this goes down in a short amount of time. Only one minute and 45 seconds elapses from the point of the first shot fired until the moments that all officers are able to get the agent en route to the hospital. In, in Nashville, Andy Cordan, News 2. We are continuing to follow this story. Stay with News 2 and WKRN.com for the latest developments on yesterday afternoon. God damn, Corey. You said you weren't going, and we believe you. We believe you because you done left Earth. You weren't with that bullshit. No matter what, 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 what they was coming to have had to speak to you about, to have a conversation with you about. I think they was coming to put them bracelets on you and take you on the, down there to the resort and shit, get your little Instagram photo and shit. I think that, that, that that's that's why they slid up on you like that. Now, you got to ask yourself like this right here. If he wouldn't have died, would he, would he have been charged with firing on law enforcement? You got to ask yourself, look here, he was slid up on. How do you know that that's law enforcement? Flying around 2 o'clock. Look, 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 look. When it slide up to your goddamn vehicle, you don't know who it is, especially in the unmarked vehicle. But I want you to pay attention. Like as soon as they hit, he bust off. 
Look, look. The bullets started flying around 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. ATF still has not identified the agent who remains at Vanderbilt. Yo, La Lala got out on time because if y'all look at the passenger side, once she, once she jumped out, the smoke and shit that's coming on uh, in the passenger, her ass would have been hit. Watch what little look. Around right. 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Watch it. ATF still has right not identified bam, bam. the agent who remains Three, at four, Vanderbilt. Five, the agency did tell us he underwent a medical procedure last night. You hit one player, but you ain't knocked nobody off. Got to be more careful, player. In my mind, if he would have lived, he would have been charged with it. Firing at police officers as if he's not supposed to fire at police officers. In an unmarked car. I don't know the fuck you in a slid up to my shit. My first thought is start dumping. Start dumping. There was plenty of parking space out there the way you did not have to slide up in my shit. Flying around 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. ATF still has not identified the agent who remains at Vanderbilt. I got a question too. What 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 she got in her hand? Is it a baby? Yesterday afternoon. Mm. ATF. Right there. Is that a baby, a PS5 or something, a computer, a gift and shit? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> it might have been that work. Uh, Still has not know. identified the agent who remains at Vanderbilt. The agency did tell us he underwent a medical procedure last night. And News 2 has a team to me. Man, boy, hold up. The surveillance footage begins around 2.15 uh. Tuesday afternoon. It's business as usual behind the country. I don't know why he parked there. Maybe that's an eatery. I'm not sure, but the cafe. So oh, it's a cafe, so it is an eatery. Really? Yeah. A silver van filled with. You see that shit with them dog tents pull up? A caravan, bitch. You might think that it's a family. Well, here yeah, it was a family. <laughs> ATF, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't fuck. ATF agents look, 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 approaches look. Corey Wellman's black SUV. Look, look. Watches the silver van bumps the black Damn. SUV. Almost start simultaneously, dumping. the first shot is fired from inside Wellman's vehicle. In this Ooh, moment, player watching the 12, 3, 6, and 9, boy, before he left Earth, he was watching this shit. You got to give him credit for that right there, even though he gone right now. But God damn it, at, as soon as it bumped, the SUV watches think the silver is. van bumps the black Bum. SUV. Almost simultaneously, the first Bum. shot is fired from inside Wellman's vehicle. In this moment, one of the agents opens the sliding van door. It appears he wants to get out, but there are so many bullets flying. That Can't get out, core one bullshit. Trying to tell you, a lot of y'all players be out here yip yapping and all that fly shit right there, but you ain't ready, ready. You know what I'm saying? That he's forced to remain in the van for more than 10 seconds. What unfolds over the next half a minute is a hail of gunfire. Damn that witnesses estimate could be 30 to 40 shots. Ooh. A woman in the passenger seat of the SUV runs for cover as bullets can- Shot that baby, that baby live. According to the story, because they they did not speak on a female um, dying or perishing or leaving Earth. Continue to hit the windshields of both vehicles. Damn. Wellman's door also flies open. We blurred portions of this wider angle to not reveal the agent's identities given the possibility that some of them may work undercover. Agents armed with rifles and pistols eventually take down Corey Wellman, approaching carefully after the gunfire subsides. Mm -hmm. By now, the wounded ATF agent is behind the van. Other officers, approximately a dozen, quickly converge on the scene from multiple... They came from everywhere. Listen, watch this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's shoot, shoot, shoot. Up here. There's going to be agents up here and the um, the Jeep. Fire. That witness watch estimate watch could be 30 to 40 shots. See him? A See woman him? in the passenger Walking. seat of the SUV watch runs for cover as bullets continue to hit the windshields of both Hold vehicles. Up. Wellman's door also flies open. We blurred portions See? of this See him? wider See him? See him? angle Running. to not reveal the agent's identity. Watch this. Given the possibility that some of this car right here too, undercover. watch him. Agents armed with One, two, rifles three. and pistols Coming eventually the back. take down Corey Wellman, Ooh. approaching carefully after the gunfire subsides. Ooh. By now, the wounded ATF Damn. agent is behind the van. Other officers, approximately a dozen. Damn. Whoa. Damn, Corey. 
At least you could have got wounded but not left Earth and shit like that. So you could have told your, your own story and hell. A good lawyer, a really, really, really good lawyer, could have made the case and you probably could have sued ATF for how they slid up on you and causing you to get damaged. They didn't jump out. Well, they didn't pull up in a marked vehicle presenting themselves properly. Damn, boy. A good lawyer, boy. You could have got you by, by two million. You know what I'm saying? You could have been good. But, hell, this is a lesson to be learned or a lesson to be taught to the rest of you out there who ain't going. A lot of y'all say that y'all ain't going and y'all still on earth. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all refuse to have the goddamn shootout, but you saying you ain't going. Shout out to court player. Damn. Well, I'll try to tell you. But if you if you don't mind going, tell the goddamn people you don't mind going. And it possibly will not be a shootout. I appreciate y'all for rocking. Damn. I'm out.